We've been talking about all the ways you can improve your health, your life, and maybe even live longer today. And one way to do that is to connect with your community. And there's actually a new networking site called nextdoor.com that's looking to do just that. Have you ever needed to borrow a ladder, find someone to mow your lawn, or learn when local road repairs will wrap up? There are so many ways our neighbors can help us. But these days, most people don't know their neighbors or how best to contact them. It's difficult to ask for help and advice without being a bother. Nextdoor changes all that with free and private neighborhood websites that make it easy for neighbors to connect and talk about the issues that matter. All recommendations are organized and archived, so next time you need a trusted dentist or electrician, you can find a great one in seconds. To get a Nextdoor website for your neighborhood, go to nextdoor.com slash new. We'd like to welcome Nirav, who is the founder and CEO of nextdoor.com. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. And uh, what is Nextdoor about? Well, Nextdoor is about connecting you to your neighbors. And the specific data point is if you connect to your neighbors in your local community, you have a 50% greater chance of living longer. The go. problem is we don't know our neighbors these days. In mm -hmm. fact, over 30% of Americans don't know a single neighbor by name. And I think it's cool. great for safety because I know I, we had next door neighbors who actually they, their house got broken into. And we talked to the security people and came. And so, you know, if you're away, and they happen to be away, and somebody would watch their house, if you're away, your neighbors can kind of keep an eye out on mm -hmm. things for you. Yeah, 20% of the posts on next door are about crime and safety. And so that whole notion of neighborhood watch, we can use technology to make it a lot stronger. Are a lot of neighborhoods getting into this? We have over 5,300 neighborhoods in 48 states. Wow. And we've been active for about 12 months. So it's been a pretty fast ramp. I think people definitely want this for their neighborhoods. Cool. And we actually have Rebecca and her daughter, Grace. They're joining us via Polycom because Rebecca, you actually used Nextdoor in a uh, pretty scary situation, right? We did, we did. We have a, a, a child here who has some significant special needs. My daughter, Grace, who's watching herself right now, um, has Down syndrome and she's nonverbal. And she likes to um, escape from the house and go run up to the elementary school to play. And that's, you know, yeah, that's not okay. So when we saw nextdoor.com, my first thought was that we could use it as part of our safety plan that we have for her to help people know who she is and where she lives and what to do if they found her. Um, she'd been found before and people didn't really know where to take her and she can't talk. She can't tell anyone where she lives. So we sent out a, an email telling, you know, with a picture and telling everybody where we lived and, you know, what to do if they found her. And, um, and it ended up being really helpful because she did get out and someone knew who she was and brought her back. That's great. great. You know, my, yeah. That's awesome. My, uh, I have a little brother with Down syndrome too, and kids with Down syndrome, they just like to escape. And he was always just getting off and, you know, other, other streets and the park. And yes. oftentimes the police would be the ones that would find him and bring him home. And it was scary when, he's, when he would disappear. Well, and kids used to play yeah. in neighborhoods and people used to know their neighbors. Mm -hmm. It used to be the neighbors who right. used to look out for everybody else's kind of kids. Back in, in the old days. days. Yeah. It, it was one of the things that, that made America great and made America America, the fact that we felt like we were part of our local communities. And for whatever reason, we've lost that, but we can bring it back. Mm -hmm. That's great. Very cool. Well, mm -hmm. We're so happy that uh, Grace is doing well. Rebecca, thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. Thank you. And uh, Nira, thank you for being here and telling us about uh, nextdoor.com. We appreciate it. Best of luck to you. Thank you so much for having me. Cool.